Hey guys, this is going to be the last 30 minutes of today's stream. Thanks for uh, joining me for this. I hope you guys have been enjoying this game. I have. It's been super interesting. I could really use a new sword, though. Also, Christine, I noticed that you said that she had junk in her trunk. Um, this looks more like a tumor. If it's, if it's some, just the one side. What's over here? Anything worth over here? Curse did go more upper arm. You are right. Omega, how do you feel about uh, beaches? And then lower our music starts playing as I run across this beach. Soon I'll come around. Beaches are fun. What about the ones with rocks that have sharp and cut your feet as you run across them? Oh, this fucking guy. Who's he practicing against over here? Can you stop cackling into my ear like a root sack of shit, please? Apparently I can't step on that rock. Yeah, it's easier to make me crawl up this, uh, much larger, uh, broken piece of wood than the small incline of the rock. The forbidden rock. Before she first met him. She was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's inbound made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. Especially that said well. I like this one. Barren and lonely. That I did. I did try. Will I be smote for this? Maybe. We just shall find out. There's lots of like wreckage and ruin on this beach, but I'm not seeing a lot in the uh, face of like lore stuff anymore. Guess I can't go up on these rocks. The building in the distance, though. Oh my god, how do you feel about boats? in the rocks. Similar. There will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. Like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of a big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. It does not ask you to swim against it. Alright. So there's the face in the waterfall that I missed earlier because I didn't realize that focusing on it was something that... Uh, will allow you to see what it said. Uh, 
That looks like, uh, you just sell it in the distance. There he was. The lone figure of a wolf. Saw play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. This kind of reminds me of um, that bit in Final Fantasy Type Zero. That's a game I kind of want to play again too, Type Zero. Just because that game still leaves me going, scratching my head, going, what the fuck just happened? Oh, it's already listed in one of the polls. I already have them all made up. It's a fun game, but it leaves me scratching my head and what the fuck just happened? Type of deal. Oh, okay. Got another set of runes here. Okay, so we can't do anything with the store yet. All right. Looks like this would normally be a bridge over to that door there. Uh, I don't know, like 15? I got him saved in a spreadsheet. Gonna get bre It's 410, why are you getting breakfast now? The PSTV so far? Um, just uh, si uh, Silent Hill uh, Book of Memories, which is still has not arrived. Oh, this is what I was looking for. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants him, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. You see, Log, if she wasn't on vacation, I wouldn't question it. I would expect her to be having breakfast at 410, because she sleeps through my stream, I'd say, 92% of the time. But, while she's on vacation, I figure she would be getting up and doing things. Like shitting her pants in public, for example. Did you guys know that the person shitting themselves at the bus stop was actually Wintrake? Ashley was just being nice. Why did you do this? Why does that uh, person have four arms, Omega? And Winji only has herself to blame for that. Alright, let's get to the tree.
So I think we're roughly half done the game now. It's a good chance. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy, and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. I guess I won't, because you're not going to tell me. Um, yeah, the tree's just over here. This seems like the type of game that'll have a good stopping point. I'm not sure either, Log, but, uh... It's a trick. It's an illusion. It's not real. <laughs> we got about 19 minutes left to stream anyway, so... You want to believe it's real, but it's Oh, that's right. <laughs> Where are you going? Where is she going? <laughs> what is she following? You can't even fight. It's just deception. How does he so effortlessly call the world in bliss? Only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. Now the game's roughly eight hours in length, uh, for the average playthrough apparently, so I'm uh, with the length of my stream, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. Not since I have to go to work soon. Sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up!
see him, you won't right. believe it. Is he not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Lydia? Nothing lives here. Bob Dole lives here. Survive. Huh. Okay. You met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign. The tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. But this, this is quite clearly a runestone. Why can't I? Oh, that's right. Interesting. You gotta eat before work? Ah, Christine. Go eat. Definitely go eat. We're gonna be done here in 14 minutes. Sweet honey from Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart, and pure blood. Okay. This one also has what looks like a rune at the end of it, like the other one. This is super interesting. Is this is another rune sun. Yeah, it is. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjatli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Dude, Sigmund sucks. Also, his sister disguised herself and then fucked her brother. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Norse mythology is full of incest and weird things happening like Loki turning into a horse and Odin trapping him in that farm and making him have sex with another horse and that horse gives birth to Sleipnir. A lot of strange things happen in Norse mythology. Ginnungadap. Oh, it's a sword. Sigmund's sword. That I pulled. A sword. Take it. Tell him that for you. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Gramr, 
It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge ground by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shard. Find it. Yeah, ten minutes. Let's see how long this will take. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer but the angry dwarves cursed it it would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king let me tell you about the sword tear ah tearfing I know this one. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such What do I do place. after stream? Something so very ordinary. as if we conspired to hide death because we have no answer for it but when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones then comes the reckoning Locke uh, has submitted an ask me anything he asks what do I do after stream I <laughs> sometimes I eat if I feel hungry um Usually I'll play with Bailey, um, but uh, I'll often feed her depending on the time. Sometimes I head out to uh, the store to pick up some stuff if I need to. Um, you know, work, but I play games. Like I, I make sure I get my dailies done in Final Fantasy XIV if I can, and then I hang out with uh, myself and play games in the meantime. Um, my life is not overly exciting, uh, but it's fun. It's great. I, I spend a lot of time uh, trying to work through my backlog. Uh, my day does not feel complete if I don't stream for you guys. Like the day, like Thursdays, I feel like I'm just like missing something if I don't, since I don't stream on Thursdays. But yeah, I, uh, I spend a lot of time with Bailey. Uh, I give her pets. I'm here. And... I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? So that's good. She's here for the trials. Isn't that sweet? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. This is your mission. Find him. You have to find him. Get him back. Just how could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she find him? I guess, but I don't see any way forward. Is that answer satisfactory for you, Lonk? And thank you for using that function. I appreciate that. I'm waiting for P the Magic D to come back so that we can show him, uh, or so that we can ban him. 
Okay, so I don't think there's anything else I can do in here unless there's something to do with this. The sword on that. This is what doing. So is there another path forward in here then? The lighting effect is super good here actually. This is back out here. So is there anything? So I went that way. Is there anything over here? What is over here? story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrmin. She doesn't walk very quickly though, so this is kind of annoying. Confusing, but we'll make it, I guess. disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the north of the hell. There's a sword there, why don't I just pick one of those up?
So was I already in here? I think I was already in here. This looks familiar. Yeah, it is already in here. I think. Yeah, okay, let's just add this one. Torch is lit. We're stuck in a maze, it looks like. <laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. Flickering around us. You have fallen in. You think that sound is Dillian's voice in the truth? You walked right into their hands. They have a right where they want you. How could you? Damn, can't like that. This looks a little more promising. We haven't been here yet. Williams is supposed to lead you. This is interesting. Look at the game fucking twist and warp. Alright, let's walk into this gate of hell. Muspelheim. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief said so. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. 
to anyone. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Hurrah! It's done. You did it, but there's more. Alright, so the game did just save. So that's it for now, uh, for stream. We're going to end the recording here. Thank you for viewing.